Another chance for the Bears. Vanderlaan in the middle, her first swing in the tournament is well executed. Both had a lot of really interesting things to say about their teams as Ooh. that's a solo block for Jillian Widener. That was an incredible penetration at the net of that solo block. You can watch it here again. You see how far she gets her arms over the net, and that just goes straight down. No, no chance for anything else. Whoever's in system more is going to win tonight. Well, this is our first real extended point of the match. Widener's swing ends it, and Brown does get that point out of the break. Yeah, that was an incredible job by their setter, making sure that they were getting the ball on the net in a place that um, gave their hitter an opportunity to hit around the huge block that Princeton's putting up. It's an incredible pedigree. Her outfit speaks volumes for it, and she lives and breathes the Tigers. Yet just a one-point differential. Bo Vanderlaan makes it 15 apiece. Number to have that for an, a pin hitter. She's getting a lot of the junk balls. Jillian Widener. Some of the hitting percentage are just off the charts in the Ivy League this season. And the slam over on two. Gets a great group of four officials here tonight. Making sure that the right call is made for the girls. Wow. wow. Absolutely spectacular. Brown is two points from the first set. Other side and taking it. Nudacore is stuffed. Set point for the Bears. Here's Nudacore. Wow, how about Jesse Golden? And can Brown pay it off? The effort from Sydney Bold keeps the point going. Over on two. We had saw that a bunch in the first set from Sierra Jenkins. Not at all in the second, but it works there. I like an early timeout. You know, if you feel that momentum shifting, don't let the other team run away with it. It's really important to recalibrate early so that you have, give your, your team an opportunity to change it. I've always wondered why some coaches wait when it's 24-20 to make that call. What is your team possibly going to really do to adjust to that level of play? And you're not giving them any space to make an error. Now 9-8 after Brown's defense leads to offense and 71 assists in the regular season, which was the most in the league. Vanderlaan tried the same thing and it works again. Wow, was that an unbelievable dig by Ivy Co-Defensive Player of the Year, Jesse Golden. That's a great swing. Widener. And it's 21-12 Brown. And another ace for Brown. Widener, kind of a tough swing there. Nudicor. Widener again, off the block. And wow. set number three goes to Brown. Wow, what a big swing by Vanderlaan. Absolutely crushed that ball. That set was so fast. Jostling near the net on this point. Satchel from the back line is handled. Shear goes right down the line. And the lead is two, which is interesting. Shear, oh, that is spectacular. Now that was so smart by Kate Shear because what she just did was she extended the perimeter of the court on the last play. She made their libero make a decision. She camped out for that second play and then took advantage of the fact that she knew that freshman was going to be camped in for that hard driven ball. The hitting percentages, 167 for Brown, 156 for Princeton. Assists are separated by just three. Digs are exactly even. Blocks are separated by just one. Sydney Bold now with 18 digs in the match. Not to be outdone, that is 20 for Jesse Golden for Brown, and it leads to the 13th point of the fourth set. To get themselves out of this five point deficit. It's not over, but then you're going to really come alive. Another block. And they got caught sleeping a little bit there. They didn't, they didn't cover their hitter. Everyone in this gym knew that they had to set the right side based on where the pass was, and they still didn't cover the hitter. Absolutely incredible to be at a match of this stage and to be having a hitting percentage of 300. It's phenomenal. Sierra Jenkins says, don't leave me out. Princeton trying to keep it alive. They cannot. And Brown will play for the Ivy League Championship. Hi. 
25-18, 25-13, 25-13, and then 25-16. And for the second year in a row, the Brown Bears are going to the Ivy League Tournament Championship match. Morgan, a fantastic performance by Brown tonight.